This is Sulai Bazaar again. Or Suli Bazaar, Courtesan Street, Dancing Girl Street, whatever name you want to give it. It's the third longest in Hampi. Behind the one that runs from the Vitala Temple and Hampi Bazaar itself, which is almost a kilometer long. I just find myself coming to this place all the time. The Achyutaraya Temple is my favourite temple. The Varaha Temple at the other end here is my second favourite temple. For personal reasons rather than anything else because there are more spectacular temples around here, there's no doubt about that. But I just find myself coming back here over and over again. It's like I'm soul searching. Yes, part of the book and a lot of Important parts of the book are in the Varaha temple and even a small part in the Atiyutaraya temple, but it's just something something I'm connecting with here which I haven't quite put my finger on yet. I said when I did one of the first videos on Sula Bazaar that uh, this is the one place where I can really tune into the past and almost visualize the daily life here. <coughs> so maybe that's the soul searching element of that. I think we all have a special place where we just feel such a connection with that we want to go back there over and over again. I am a very scientific person, but I'm also deeply spiritual, so I don't dismiss one for the other. I think that's a very silly thing to do in life. A lot of scientists say, oh, that's all a load of nonsense, you must follow the scientific method. Well, that's good and well, but uh, there are things in life that aren't explained very easily, and science is not the tool to explain them either. I think we are fools to dismiss these things. I've had too many experiences in my life. They can't be explained. And I'm sure they'll continue. There's definitely something deeper to this world than just what we're seeing. Most people I discuss that with agree. It's a shame there are so many close-minded people in the world, really. I actually believe we're being purposely detached from spirituality through our cultures, Western cultures, I mean. The technology and everything else. And science telling us, oh, it doesn't exist. You're, you're nuts if you believe this, or you're nuts if you see something, or feel something or whatever, and that's just plain wrong. I think it's very sad what's happening to our culture. Yeah, things happen every day with people, don't they? I, uh, <laughs> I always know when something's wrong with my partner or something. I can pick it up, even if she's uh, a thousand miles away. I just know if there's something wrong, and then there's always something wrong. You can't dismiss that kind of stuff. That proves that we humans are communicating with each other when we're not physically present. <laughs> On some level or another, and we'd be fools to dismiss anything like that. And those that do, well that's up to them. I can't imagine the kind of lives that they've got. But 
the world is a very mysterious place and <coughs> taking the mystery out of it is a very bad idea. This is the uh, Pushkarani again at the end of Sula Bazaar. Large winds picking up again. Strangely quiet around here today. It was very, very busy yesterday, and it was uh, Friday. Today's a Saturday. It seems to be devoid of life almost. It's very hard walking with this camera. I have to try and keep it steady as much as I can. It's very difficult. Well, you can tell you just watch wobbly videos all the time, but... It's just such a magical place. Especially like now when there's nobody around or hardly anyone around. It's almost like you're completely alone here and you really get a feel of the place. It's like being in another world. <laughs> 